Hey, how you doing? My name is Malik Shahid. You're watching WatchMojo.com, and today we're hanging out with Nelly Furtado. Check it out. You've been around for quite a while, and a lot of artists have gone and disappeared. What is Nelly most grateful for? That's a good question. Um, I'm probably most grateful for the people I've had around me for my career that have supported me through all of my discretions. I'm just a person that thinks a lot, and I put a lot of thought into what I do, and not everybody has patience for that, right? Because it is a business. But for me, I'm always coming from an artistic angle. I can't control it in the night. You know, it's not easy to market somebody like me. I'm not like a brand where people know what they're gonna buy when they buy an Ellie Furtado CD. They have no idea what it might sound like. So I'm more for those people that are really looking for a musical adventure every time. Industry has changed so much, you know, since 2000. What are the toughest, sort of, most challenging things for an artist today, like, your, like yourself? Ooh, that's a good question. And I think probably the process of promotion has changed a lot. And there's more cross-promotion now. The other thing would probably be media. You have to be a little more careful with what you say in an interview, because someone will know five seconds later what you said. <laughs> so it's really changed things. Before, you'd have to wait at least maybe 48 hours and it'd be on like the BBC wire or something. Today, if I, if I punch, I would never punch you, but if I like hit you with a pillow and like started beating you up in the interview, tomorrow it would be like on the front page. I know you released a Spanish album in the past and you're working on a Portuguese album? I released Me Plan in 2009. <laughs> My next thing is, yes, Portuguese. I, I want to start working on a Portuguese album. And how do you approach your songwriting process differently than doing an English album? That's a good question. It's kind of weird. It just kind of hits me. All of a sudden, the songs you sing at home, you know, while you're like washing your hair or washing the dishes, doing something, they morph. Like one day they'll be in English and then one day I'll wake up and all of a sudden Spanish is taking the main stage. Lately, Portuguese has been. Lately, I'm on iTunes buying only Portuguese albums. I'm like writing down ideas for song titles in Portuguese. It's weird, it's almost like seasonal or something. Last question, I know you're very busy. What do you eat before performance? Wow, this, I have to say, this is a very good interview. This is an awesome interview, you're awesome. My voice, what do I eat? Okay, so my singing teacher always told me to avoid like acidic things, sort of like lemon or orange or even tomato or things that are too spicy. They're really bad for your voice and alcohol. You can't drink alcohol and sing because it strips your vocal cords. And uh, the other thing is when you go to sleep at night and you have a performance the next day, you can't eat for three hours before you go to bed or else it does the same thing. The acid strips your voice. Um, day of show, it's good to have protein, chicken, fish, some vegetables, salad. Kind of eat like a bigger meal, like about five hours before your show, and maybe three hours eat something lighter, and then kind of get out there. Otherwise, your voice won't be like completely warmed up. And I find it helps to do a bit of breathing exercises too, and some physical exercise just to be completely warm when you get out on stage. Yeah.